Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you the full workflow from a Dynamesh sculpt in ZBrush to rendering with displacement map in Arnold. We'll go over the remeshing and UVs to the displacement setup in Arnold. I'm going to be using Maya, but you can apply these concepts in other 3D apps. So here in ZBrush I have three subtools, all sculpted using Dynamesh. Let's merge them and duplicate so we can have a reference to project the high poly detail. With the duplicated subtool, let's go to Decimation Master and pre process current. Then we can decimate with the default settings. Duplicate the decimated subtool, and it's also a good idea to rename them for future reference. Ok, now selecting the Geometry tab and then click on Z Remesher. So this is the result we have, for some cases you'll need to do a retopo in your 3D app, but for this asset it will work just fine. Let's divide the mesh a few times, since we will need to project the details from the original sculpt. Now with the subdivisions level set to the max, let's move the remesh geometry to the top of the subtool palette, make the original sculpt visible, and then under project, with the settings you see on the screen, click on project all. Ok, this is the result we have, looking good enough. Let's select the lowest subdivision level and export it out as an OBJ file. Now in Maya, import the OBJ file and let's go over the UVs. So this is pretty basic UVs workflow, just selecting edges and cutting them, then unfolding. I have covered UV's workflow in other videos in my channel, so if you need any tips on that, you can watch those videos. One small tip I can show you here is on how to select the top faces using the modeling toolkit. Basically, you set the angle constraint and enter something like 45 degrees. This will help you with the remeshed or decimated geometry. Back to ZBrush, after exporting the UV model, let's go under Z plugin and select Subtool Master, and then Multi Append. I just find this gives me more predictable results than importing from the tool palette. You can also check your UV map to see if everything is working properly. So, move the UV asset to the top of the subtools palette and divide it to level 5, like we have done with the remeshed model. Now let's project again the sculpted details. Alright, now we just need to export the displacement map, just go to Z plugin, multi-map exporter, Select Displacement and Export Options. I will be using a 4K resolution, 32-bit EXR. And make sure you have the mid value set to 0.5. Finally, just create all maps and save it. 
I'm going to cancel it because I am using 5 levels of subdivisions. Make sure you set the right amount of divisions in your export settings. Now in Maya let's connect the displacement map to a standard R0 shader. And for now set the displacement height to 0 so we can compare the results. Now rendering this is the result we get, just the level 1 geometry from ZBrush. Let's set the displacement height to 1. So we're getting the displacement, but we need to add some render time subdivisions. If we set again the displacement height to 0 and compare the two renders, we see that with displacement the geometry is growing in size, which is not ideal. The easy fix is to set the scalar 0 value to 0 0.5, which is the mid value we set in ZBrush when exporting the displacement map. You can also increase the subdivisions if you feel like you're not getting the desired result. So that's it, if you have any questions or suggestions to this workflow, let me know in the comments. Thank you, see you next time.